At American Flatbread in Burlington, Vermont, brewer and co-owner Paul Saylor serves up an impressive selection of house brews. From Belgian saisons to a German-style dunkel, American interpretations of porter and India Pale Ale. And for now, he has nine of his beers on tap, including traditional English varieties. But there's trouble brewing for the craft beer industry. Hops, a key ingredient, are in desperately short supply. Since the end of December, I've been experiencing some pretty severe shortages that are affecting my choice of brews and even changing my formulation for specific regular beers that we do. Right now there's a worldwide hop shortage due to everything from poor weather to not enough acres planted to quench rising demand for craft beer. Sales last year gained 16 percent. Hops impart bitterness and aroma to help balance out the taste of the malt. They also help preserve the beer. Take a peek into Sailor's cold storage and you'll see what's keeping him up at night. Well into March, his distributor hasn't been able to ship any of this year's contracted supply. No hops, no more beer. This is my little trove of, uh, meager trove of hops, the remaining hops from last year. And uh, that's about it. Uh, we're down to the last of what we've got and this will be uh, maybe three or four brews worth of hops and then I'm done. It's an hour's drive from Burlington to Middlebury, Vermont, the home of Otter Creek and Otter Creek Brewing, whose owner has his own take on what hops do for beer. The hops are the balance of a beer there. Uh, maybe the malts are the heart and the hops are the soul there. So it is, it is, it's a balance there, that, that, that finishing touch. They're also very expensive right now, as brewers like Otter Creek it's compete for certain kinds hops, of hops uh, against larger companies with more purchasing power. Varieties. Some spot prices for hops had a five-fold increase at the end of last year, and brewers lucky enough to have purchased long-term contracts still are paying a significant markup. This past year, we saw the shifts of some types of some varieties of hops as much as two to three hundred percent. Cascades and I believe the Centennials were two varieties that we started to run short on. Beyond the high cost and short supply of hops, there's a separate issue. Grain prices have shot up. Otter Creek has paid 40 percent more for its malted barley over the past year. To solve sourcing problems, some brewers have been seeking out small local farmers to ensure supply in future years, something that used to happen in the 1800s, back before a blight wiped out the industry in the Northeast and set up the Pacific Northwest as top dog in U.S. hops. A farmer's see an opportunity. Hopefully we'll, we're going to see some good production organic hops in America here in the next couple of years. Until then, small brewers may have to get more creative, if they want to keep brewing. Some will focus on beers with less pronounced hop impact and more balance. Others will roll out traditional styles that may be less familiar to American palates. Beer will also cost more. Otter Creek is tacked on between a dollar and a dollar fifty per six pack, testing the loyalty of fans. You know, if I'm true to a beer, then I'll uh, I'll probably be willing to pay another you know couple dollars for a six pack. That adds up over a long time, but, but I'll still be paying for it. Happily. That kind of devotion drives Paul Saylor to keep brewing his own beer as part of a lineup of other brews featured in his tap room. But time and hops are running out. In Vermont, I'm Paul Lynn.